Well, when they first asked me to do this, um, they want to manage to do it, and I want to manage to do it. It's more fun, whatever. Um, but I, from the beginning, I thought I want to do it once out of drag because it was important to me that you know, on, on at least one week, there's just two blokes, mm. you know, dancing just like all the other couples, you know, at 6:30 while you're watching with your granny and, and all that. Um, so, so we knew from the beginning we're, we're one week we'll do it out of, out of drag, and then when they explained the dedication week business to me. And I thought, well, who, who, who will I dedicate to whatever? And, um, and I obviously have been living with HIV for 27 years. The same clinic has looked after me for all that time. I've had the same consultant until she retired during the pandemic. And I just thought, you know, th those people have been on this big, oh, I'm going to use the word journey, yeah. you know, with yeah. me for a long time. Yeah. So it'd be nice to, to, to recognize them. But also was, that's important to me because there's still an awful lot of nonsense and ignorance and stigma around living with HIV still. So I thought, well, here's an opportunity to tell your regular people down in Kiltamoth, wherever, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, what the reality of the situation is now. Um, so I thought, okay, here's an opportunity to, to do all the things I, I, that, that were important to me, get it all done in one week. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, and so and then I, you know, you know, we were very delighted, pleased yes. at the reception 29, to it. Yeah. yeah, 10, 10 and yeah. a 9. Yeah. It, the emotion of the piece, you could feel it through your TV screen watching at home in oh the God. studio, Dennis. What was the reaction like? How, how did you feel after you completed well, that? I, I think it's no words to prescribe the feeling. Like when, like even judges, they stand up and everyone like, and then the team, the guys who works when we come out from the floor, they come in tears mm -hmm. and they're like, guys, thank you so much. And like this guy, okay, of course he's funny, he's strong, uh -huh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, on the floor when we're watching VT on Sunday night, it was, and then I, like VT, he watched the VT, and then I start to, because I stay behind him, then I start to, to see like this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like, you dare tell people I feel things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no way. We just like, we literally have one and a half second to start our pass. So that, and now like at the back, not emotion included. Like, oh also, do the job. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm aggressive. I'm worried. Wow. Yeah, so you kind of crack the whip right before yeah, it was yeah. the time. He did while we were like, you know, while the Already pre dance VT is happening yeah. and yeah. it suddenly became very yeah. real, this whatever. Become He's really just like, put it together. Put it all together. <laughs> it's incredible. Awesome. Awesome. Every now and then, his USSR gymnastic coach, you know, comes out and I feel like Purat <laughs> Olga Corbett or something, you know, being abused. <laughs> and it's needed sometimes, I'm sure. You guys oh, yeah. oh, 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 yes. Yeah. <laughs> I have not only one, I have two of them. <laughs> one one is Panty, oh, yeah. one is Rory. That's all personalities. Yeah, and only one then is. Yeah, yeah. But he's, yeah, listen, there's another big personality in that studio seven days a week, so, no, you know. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Rory, you, you mentioned there you've been living with HIV for 27 years, yeah. and you're not only dancing, each week you're battling the stigma around HIV, yeah. and even this year, I think, People are, there's 50% increase in people testing positive for HIV. Yeah. So some of them might be watching right now. What would you tell those people going back to the time when you got diagnosed? When I was diagnosed, you know, I was told in my first visit, I just had a few years to live and, and, you know, and I'd already known people and seen people who died of AIDS-related illnesses and it was grim and awful and, and also it's hidden, you know, you know, somebody would die in a family but the family would never tell anybody why they died and they were afraid, you know, if the people would find out. Um, and there was a lot of fear and ignorance and people didn't want to, you know, share a, you know, a cup with you. Shake they also, they didn't yeah. want to shake hands, yeah. they wouldn't be on the same bus as you, whatever, you know. Um, so nowadays it's just so entirely different. It's an easily manageable condition. I take one pill in the morning and get on with it. And I, and I treat that so lightly. You know, like sometimes you, you think, just like brush my teeth this morning, because you, you've done it on automatic pilot. I'm the same way about the pill. It's just something I do in the morning, don't even think about it. And, um, and you can live a long, as long and healthy a life as anybody else. So it's an easy management. So what I would say is, um, you know, part of the reason, you know, there's probably lots of reasons why there'd be so, uh, an uptick in, in diagnoses at the moment. But one of them is because people are less afraid to go and get tested. Because fear you know, puts people off going and getting tested. So um, my message is, it's not anything to be, you know, horrified. It's not the end of your life if you do get a positive diagnosis. So go and find out. Because the only danger with um, HIV is if you're HIV and you don't know it, yeah. and, you, and so you don't treat it, that can become a problem for you. So get tested, I'll find out, and if it is positive, it's not the end of the world. It's, you know, you know it, 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 it becomes a small thing in your life. Yeah. You just 
take, get the treatment and continue on. And it's easily managed these days. And, and, and when you're on treatment, you also you can't pass it on to anybody else. And you, know, you can have children and all the usual things. You know, your life is entirely normal. Um, so that's what people need to know and understand. And so there's no reason to be fearful of going and get an HIV test. Go and get an HIV test. And the chances are you have nothing to worry about. And if it does come back positive, it's not the end of the world. It's amazing. Great message. It's yeah. amazing to, to be able to say that now in 2023. Yeah.